Oregon has ripped Baylor's heart out on the eve of National Signing Day before, but not now. Not this time. Let's get Locked on Baylor. You are Locked on Baylor, your daily podcast on the Baylor Bears. Part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day. Hello there, Bears fans. Welcome to an emergency Locked on Baylor, an addendum to tomorrow's episode. We do talk a little bit about National Signing Day. I'm your host, Cam Stewart of ESPN Central Texas and The Cam Show on YouTube. Thank you for making it your first listen today and every day. This is going to be a great class for Baylor that's signing on Wednesday. Um, It's the third-ranked recruited class as it stands right now in the Big 12, and it comes after some serious momentum from the summer and Keenan Hall and up through this whole season, specifically the last six weeks where the Bears went 6-0. and But there was one name on there that looked like it was going to, it, it was going to come down to the wire, right? Caleb Burns was committed to, uh, committed to Tech earlier in the summer, flipped to Baylor when all this momentum was happening. And then all of a sudden, when Baylor's two and four, he's taking a flight out to Oregon to see the Oregon Ducks play Ohio State in a top five matchup. Um, he got a ton of interest from Oklahoma, and you've seen it in the in the pictures the last few weeks. Uh, he was on those official visits. He's wearing OU stuff. He's wearing Oregon stuff. And it, it was announced it was going to come till down to National Signing Day, or in this case, the night before, to see whether he would actually stick with his commitment to Baylor. I'm happy to report he is stuck with his commitment to Baylor. Uh, this is breaking news here on Tuesday night as of just about uh, 7 o'clock or so, Central Standard Time, that he goes with the Bears. Um, we There was a great sign out there on Saturday in the Kansas game that had said, uh, come with us or stay with us, Caleb Burns. We want Caleb Burns. And it had the the interlocking BU in that. Um, That's the kind of love you can get here, man. And yes, uh, Gavin Nix, you you probably saw earlier in the day, um, a four-star linebacker himself, much like Caleb Burns, had flipped his commitment from Miami to Oregon. He had been committed to Miami for uh, a couple of months now, and he flips that commitment the day before National Signing Day. And Caleb Burns, now sticking with his commitment to Baylor. Don't know how much that played a, a factor in it, but it's another kid in the same class at the same position that ends up going to Oregon instead. And it I'm not going to lie to you guys, when knowing that Oregon was at the top of the list and knowing that it was going to, or hearing that it was going to come down to National Signing Day, uh, it sounded like the warning of the inevitable, which we didn't get the warning last time, of 2022 when Austin Novosad uh, flips at the final hour to to go to the Ducks instead of coming to Baylor. And the grass isn't always greener. Of course, he's got a a, a chance to to go and, and have some success at Oregon. But, you know, he goes into his sophomore year and they bring in two of the top 10 quarterbacks in the transfer portal, one who's only a year older than him. So it, it's not always how it appears when you go to flip. But Caleb Burns sticking here with the Bears, the four-star linebacker um, from Cy Falls. This is when we were actually on pretty early from for Locked On Baylor because our man Will Turboff, great friend of the show, um, was was on him very early um, and and tracking all of of his stats and and going to his practices. And uh, it was a, a heck of a year once again uh, for Caleb Burns. He had 17 tackles for loss, seven sacks. Six pass breakups, a forced fumble, four recovered fumbles, two fumble returns for touchdowns, scoop and scores, two picks, and a safety. That's a guy who can do it all, man. And you want to talk about bolstering up this defense? Guys like Kamora Morgan and Caleb Burns are going to do that. And the great, like the the banner picture for him on 247 is him with his hands on his helmet during a game, and he's got the Sikkim Bears on the gloves. Um, this is not just a Caleb Burns class, but this is going to help out a ton. This is a kid who, you know, had already flipped his commitment in the summer. So it was really pins and needles. Um, but I, I, I don't want to say anything bad, but it feels like this is a class that is really taking shape and is going to be the class that we expected it to be, uh, here on national signing day. Uh, Caleb Burns has, has 
stuck with that commitment. Taz Williams has stuck with that commitment after the, you know, the Michigan interest, um, uh, Red Armstrong, the number one kicker in the country, is coming along. Kamoran Morgan, Michael Turner, all these guys up and down the list. Uh, this is going to prove to be a very good, very potent Baylor recruiting class. And for those of you who don't believe that this six-game winning streak means anything because they didn't play for a championship and they didn't beat a ranked team, you're seeing it on National Signing Day. Because there was a commitment out there to these kids in the summer from, from Keenan Hall, you know, being the main recruiter saying like, we're going to make this better. And you guys just watch. And then you guys are going to help make us better. And it didn't look good there. Right. And again, two and four and all, and Caleb Burns is going to see Oregon play the number one team in the country. Um, it didn't look great, but then things started getting better. And we had when Red Armstrong was on a few months ago, he said, you know, that is a big like selling point for us. Uh, the, this class of 2025 saying that we're going to be a part of the group that brings it back for Baylor. And all of these little wins are just that they're wins. They're little wins along the way. Um, and it's, it's, it's this podcasters hope that we look back on this in a couple of years and say, yeah, that was the, that was the class that changed things. The same way we did for Matt Rule's first recruiting class. Um, we saw it a little bit in that first Sugar Bowl team in 2019, but certainly in 2021, we were going back and looking at it and just being like, oh my God, man. You know, it was all these three stars. So, quote unquote, nothing special. Uh, I remember at the time, this is early 2017, just being amazed that Matt Rule could put a, a roster together, put a recruiting class together. And you look back on it in 2021 and you're looking at it's like, oh, wow. You know, JT Woods, Terrell Bernard, Jalen Petrie, like the, the up and down the list, right? Um, I'm hoping that's the case for this class of 2025. But it feels like we won't be, I won't be doing any emergency bad podcasts for this tw class of 2025, the same way we were doing it for Austin Novosad in December of 2022. I was in my basement in Rockland, Massachusetts, and Drake calls me and says, we got to do this right now. So knock on wood that that won't happen. But Kayla Burns, welcome to the family, man. This is this is a big time get for Baylor because of what it signifies. Um, because obviously, OU and Oregon have plenty of money to throw around. Baylor has shown and thrown it out there that, hey, we're, we're going to do that too. And they just went out with that one. So that's big time. That's big time for the Bears. And to the guy who made the sign, the guy or girl who made the sign, you you get a check for this. You get a big check mark, not that kind of check. You get a big check mark, okay? Uh, kudos to you for making that sign, putting it out there in the Baylor line on Saturday. And who knows? That might have been what, what got Caleb here. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this National Signing Day in this class. We're going to talk a little bit about, about it tomorrow, um, Wednesday's show with, with Sydney, Wicker Wednesday. Um, we're also going to preview UConn as well as, hopefully, um, Baylor's offensive coordinator for a long time and who might have interest in him within this conference. That's coming up tomorrow. But be sure to like and subscribe. Leave your comments, what you think about this class, what you think about this flip, what you think about Oregon and Oklahoma. Please drop it down there below. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified every time we're dropping a video on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. And we'll see you tomorrow on Locked on Baylor.